Well, we begin with the Division of Revenue Impulse, where the Commission on Revenue Allocation is standing with the government fronted revenue sharing formula saying it will be uh, particularly impossible to cushion the losing counties in the current financial regime. The Commission's chairperson, Jane Kiringai, says that the existing gaps can only be closed through an increase in the equitable share allocated to counties going forward for Kiringa. Uh, the new data arising from the 2019 population census has amplified the magnitude of the difference in allocation among counties. The Commission on Revenue Allocation says it remains available to provide technical input in the ongoing impasse over the third revenue sharing basis. The Commission on Monday stating that the raging debate over the formula may provide little comfort to losing counties should the equitable share allocation remain pegged at 316.5 billion shillings. The Commission, aware of the likely impact of the new revenue sharing in terms of allocation to counties, made a provision for cushioning all the counties that were likely to see a decline of more than 5% in their equitable share. This cushioning provision would be achieved through an increase in the equitable share allocation to counties. CRA Chairperson Jen Kiringai noted that the 2019 census has further provided fodder for variance in opinion over the now controversial formula. As we observed at the beginning, this formula was submitted to the Senate in April 2019. The entire one-man, one-shilling vote was not in the media. It was not anywhere that informed this debate. Senators are currently at an impasse over the revenue sharing formula with a section of lawmakers vowing to shoot it down or attempting to expose some counties to financial constraints. Some of the biggest losers in the controversial formula include Wajir, Mandera, Isiolo, Marsabit and Garissa counties. Senate will be sitting on Tuesday afternoon and top on its agenda will be for the fifth time trying to find a workable formula to unlock the stalemate. For Channel 1 News, I am Edward Kabasa.